What's up guys? This is Flex with the FL Studio 20. This is how to export. And I'm gonna teach you how to export correctly. So I mean it's actually pretty easy. Uh, we can do wave or mp3 depending on what file quality you want but if you click either one of these it'll pretty much going to be the same menu call this gang again you can hit wave or mp3 but for the sake of the speed of this video I'm just gonna hit mp3 so you saw what we did rewind real file export mp3 gang you can name it whatever you want uh, remember where it's saved so it's saved. My, it's going to go to my downloads folder. I believe that's the default folder for most, if not all of you. Make sure it's in full song and not pattern. Full song. MP3. Pick the file formats you want. MP3 is less quality but lighter and easier to like send to people and whatnot. Wave is better quality and harder to send to people or not. If you put it in Wave, make sure it's in 32-bit float. It's a good little secret right there, but uh, 512 sync, HQ for all plugins. These are two key things that you want to include. That's pretty much it. If you want to split the tracks, you you hit this icon, but we're not going to do that. Um, and then just start. Of course, there's always somebody messaging me. <sighs> all right. And then, um, here we go. That's it. Alright, guys. That's how you export an FL Studio 20. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. But, I mean, that's this is probably like one of the easier, if not easiest, things to do, period, in FL Studio. So, appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, like, share, and uh, peace out.